We've got people online talking about the best food hacks that actually work. Because there's a lot of food hacks thrown out Garbage. there. Yeah. Like, uh, wasn't there a cheese one or something that you did? And, no, maybe. Or there was something with a pumpkin or... Oh, yes. That, one that was work. back at Halloween time. It was like easier way to carve a pumpkin and it was garbage. Okay, so these actually work. They're really good. Eating a hard shell taco over a soft shell tortilla. And then when things drop out of the first taco, you get a second taco. <laughs> I feel like Brilliant. I've seen that in a meme on Facebook. <laughs> that is really good, though. Yeah. Uh, mathematically, one 18 inch pizza has more pizza than if you order two 12 inch pizzas. It does? Yeah, and I'm not a mathematician, wow. but I'm just going to trust this. You wouldn't think that, looking at you it. You wouldn't. But it does, I guess, huh? Mm-hmm. Hmm. For easy-to-eat s'mores, try making them in ice cream cones. I want to do this because no. s'mores are messy oh. and just... <sighs> we had them last week, and I was eating them in the bed. Graham yeah. crackers all over Everywhere. The yeah. So this weekend, we're going to try them in ice cream cones, like a nice waffle cone. I like mm. it. Sugar cone. Oh, you want a sugar I cone? I love the sugar cones. Okay. You would choose a sugar cone over a waffle? Uh, yes. Hmm, okay. For sure. To each his own. Use a ramen packet for popcorn seasoning. Hmm. That might be delicious. I wonder that, what that would taste like. It tastes like ramen and popcorn all mixed together. <laughs> I'm going to add to that. I don't know. If you're like a spicy fan, uh-huh. put jalapenos in your popcorn. Mm. Uh, could be good. So good. Or popcorn's one of those things for me. I'm like, yeah, if you you mess with a good thing, really? it just tastes good with butter and salt on it. You just want it plain. There's lots of different flavored popcorns you can buy, like and, the kettle corn or the caramel corn. Yeah, that's a little different. I mean, there's there's like jalapeno popcorn and there's oh, there is cheese popcorn yeah. and all these different popcorns. That's I, I true. never like them much. Okay, uh, how about this little food hack? Use the bottom of a bottle of wine. You know how it's got that indent? Yeah. And then you press it to make homemade ravioli. (gasps) Ooh, Ooh, la la. (laughs) You can steam. So excited about all these hacks. Yeah. I can tell because you're such a foodie. I I like eating it. That's about it. it, Yeah. Yeah. You can steam your vegetables while cooking pasta noodles by placing a cookie rack over your pot of boiling spaghetti. Uh Then add the vegetables on top. Put a lid on top of the veggies, and they'll steam over the pasta. Wow. What? I got to try that one. Or just bring your stuff in, uh, put it in a baggie, and bring it into the sauna when you go into the sauna at the gym. Absolutely not. Voila. That's so gross. <laughs> That's my hack. <laughs> Last but not least, this uh-huh. is a good food hack. Yeah. Put a koozie, if you get like one of those smaller containers of ice cream, like an individual serving. Uh-huh. You put a koozie on it so it keeps your hands warm and your ice cream Ooh, cold. Oh, that is a good idea. Yeah, huh? very smart. They need to get big ice cream koozies so they I can do. eat it out of the half like gallon the, thing. Yeah. <laughs> hey, that's something we should look into.